how the intimate relationship functions with the narcissist. There are many reasons why people are ensnared by the narcissist in terms of the arena of operation. Familial, social, work, neighbour, friend. The most common one, of course, is the intimate relationship. And this invariably is the one which causes the greatest fallout and damage to the victim of the ensnarement with the narcissist. It is very important for the victim to understand how the intimate relationship with the narcissist will actually function. You will of course experience some of this, but many times driven by the corrupting effect of emotional thinking, people fail to recognize what they are actually experiencing and what is going to happen. In effect, they are duped into believing that there can be some kind of happy ever after. Whether you are an individual who is the intimate partner primary source, the wife, the boyfriend, the spouse, the partner, the cohab of the narcissist, or whether you hold a position as an intimate partner secondary source, either intimate partner secondary source of a shelf variety or the dirty little secret, you need to understand how this relationship will pan out. You need the cold, hard logic to shatter the illusion that is created by your emotional thinking. Too often, in consultation, I speak to people who believe that there can be some kind of different outcome from the ones that I explain to them. They believe that somehow they are able to change the narcissist, that somehow they can manage the narcissist, that somehow they can suck things up and still manage to have a successful outcome with regard to the interaction with the narcissist. That is emotional thinking. And you have to understand how this emotional relationship that you have, the intimate relationship with the narcissist, is going to play out. It is imperative for you to grasp what all of that means. The information that I provide is the equivalent of a bucket of cold water being poured over you. It gives you the logic wake-up to jolt you from your emotional thinking and its misleading effects and to help you with the implementation and maintenance of your no-contact regime. If you are in an intimate relationship with a narcissist or your dating and your risk of ensnarement, you need to understand what that means and how you will be treated by the narcissist. You need this information because emotional thinking is going to con you to your detriment. Emotional thinking wants you to continue to feed your addiction to the narcissist. Emotional thinking is the enemy within. Emotional thinking does not care about you. It does not care about your physical well-being, your mental health, your sexual health or the state of your bank balance. All it wants you to do is to engage with the narcissist and it is crafty and conniving in the various ways that it will make that happen. You need to understand that emotional thinking gets in the way and will prevent you from accessing logical thinking and therefore knowing what will really happen. This material has been designed to explain to you a variety of points delivered with my extensive knowledge of all things narcissist in a clear and direct manner. This material explains to you how the narcissist pyramid of intimate sources is structured. What is the intimate tertiary source and how is the intimate tertiary source treated? What is the shelf intimate partner secondary source and how is the shelf intimate partner secondary source treated? What is the shelf former intimate partner primary source and how is the shelf former intimate partner primary source treated? What is the shelf dirty little secret and how is the shelf dirty little secret treated? What is the candidate intimate partner primary source? And how is this candidate intimate partner primary source treated? What is the intimate partner primary source? And how is the intimate partner primary source treated? What lies in store for you as a person who is intimate with a narcissist? Will you move around the pyramid of intimate sources? Who else occupies the narcissist pyramid of intimate sources? How do you affect the way 
the narcissist behaves towards you when you're an intimate source to a narcissist is a golden period applicable to your situation and if so how long will it last is devaluation always an outcome and if so what does the devaluation look like will you always be disengaged from if you are an intimate source all of those points are extremely important matters that you need to understand if you have been ensnared you are ensnared or you want to avoid the future risk of ensnarement with a narcissist utilize the link in the video description so that you can access this low cost extremely helpful material that answers all the questions that i've just posed to you thank you for listening